Hi, I'm Dean Argent, a university qualified mechanical engineer. I'm a licensed motor dealer and the owner of usedvehiclesales.com.au. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on a walkthrough of this 2015 model, Suzuki Grand Vitara, two door that has been in some form of accident. Now, it was a minor accident and I'm gonna show you all the stuff, but there is something on its paperwork. So let's not pretend that's not there. I wanna be upfront about that because it is. So let's go for a walk around. I'll show you everything that's good with this car. I'll show you everything that's not. I'll show you where it had that little bingle at the front. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Let's go. So as we go around the car, what I would like to show you is if you look down the side here, you can see the reflection in the paint. No dents. I mean, it's only got 40,000 less, 37,000 Ks on it. Of course, it's been kept up the other end of the car park, well away from everywhere. As you'd expect, the tires are wearing evenly across the surfaces, all that sort of stuff. And, uh, it's in as new condition. It's got the tinted windows so I can video bomb myself while I'm video bombing the, videoing the car. It's got the power windows there. So it's only a two door central locking. I've got the key here in my pocket. So there it is. This, oh, there's the wife. Warning, it's the wife. <laughs> she hates it when I do that. She's like, can you not do that you dickhead? <laughs> Cause she doesn't know what to do. So anyway, let's have a look in here. So you can see the condition of these seats in as new condition. Let's jump in the front here. It's got the cruise control. Like I said, it does have three pedals, which means it is manual. You have to change gears on your own. And let's watch it. Let's do the system check on startup. Now what you're looking for here is the system check passes okay, which it did. It's telling you the door's open and it's got 37, I can't see that without my glasses. 37,925 kilometers on the clock. Now there's no engine lights or anything like that on there. All that's all good. There's a seatbelt lock so don't have it on. The door's open and... Hello. And the park brake's on. Park brake off, like that. Now it's got the air con, which is icy cold down here. Everything in this car is working like it should. Um, it's got this awesome stereo system in here with the AUX and you can yell if you want. There you go, bloke yelling. I think it's if you're on the phone, you can do that. Now, it's got Bluetooth fitted in it, all factory, all that stuff, all good. Now watch up here. Now I'm not showing you this to video bomb myself. What I am showing you is that when I bang it in reverse and move, oh, you can't see it. Can you sort of see? You can, it's a bit hard in this light, but I can see it clearly here, just in there, in that mirror. I can see the reversing camera. So, um, hey, it's got a reversing camera. <laughs> so, you can stick your coffee in there. You can, whoa, I got detailers. And they left money in the car. That's unusual. <laughs> so, it comes with $3.50 in there. And uh, that's all included for free. Let's go around and keep having a look. So, it's got the cruise control. All that works nicely from there the four-wheel drive i didn't show you that these are a very very capable four-wheel drive so you just you have to be stopped with it in your foot on the brake and the um and the clutch pedal press down and it tells you up here how to do all that and then you just move it across from four high to four lock to four low and whichever one you're in there that's what it goes ahead and does i've tested the four-wheel drive i've driven this car it all works like it should so let's have a look in the back here i put these seats forward before I'm just going to pause this for one second there we go I've put all the seats back just so that you can see the condition of those seats they are in great shape so what we can do is uh, reach through here and you can do this from the back just drop that down and then underneath here there's a little thing there which she just pops up there like that now it's got the roof rack up on top I'll show you more about the Seats dropping back in a sec. Got the Rhino roof rack. You can take that off by undoing four bolts. One, two, three, four. Or if you want to use it to put your camping gear up on top, go cruising down the beach, by all means, stack her up. Go your hardest. It is the Suzuki Grand Vitara. It is white. does have the tow bar there. And uh, the spare wheel cover as well. So I need to unlock this. When you lock them, you've got to lock and then unlock twice. So the first time we'll just do the driver's door, the second time we'll do the rest. So what I mean by that is lock once, lock. So one time undoes the driver's, second time unlocks the back. So there we go there, she's all done there. Now I did drop that seat down before, so I wanted to show you here how I 
did that. So you reach into there and you hit that one and it pushes forward. And then you just strike that there. And up she goes. And then it locks up there. So there you can see the space in the back there. If you got really, really, really short legs, it could be a really squishy little uh, shag and wagon for you. If you got really long legs, you'd probably have to put your feet out here on the ground to use it as a shag and wagon. Otherwise, it's just a nice little wagon for cart and stuff about. Now, it's got this thing on here, which you can take off. And um, what that does is you can cover up your cargo so the grubs can't see what you've got in the back here. So we just put that down there like that. And then when you shut the door, no one can see in. If they can't see it, they're not going to want to nick it. You could put some small body parts or stuff in there if you like. <laughs> whatever you choose. And a little packet in the back there for whatever. If you do use it for a camping truck, you want to put your uh, fridge there. You can plug it into that 12 volt socket and uh, strap your fridge in and away you go. So let's have a look down this side. You can see the car itself, it's all in great shape. Um, and let's have a look down here. You can see, oh, it's got all the mats, but underneath the mats, it's all as new. I like it when I see that sort of thing. It shows me that someone's really cared about the car. So there we have all that. Now let me go and show you. I'm gonna pause this video, I'm gonna open the bonnet here, and I'm gonna show you the where the, um, the accident and show you everything that happened there. So we've got it open now. I wanna show you what's been replaced. Now the story is that a uh, young girl uh, had a little accident in this car. She'd hit into a, a another car while she was on the road. She hit it in the back. She hit it right in the bump oh! and put a little bit of damage on this front left corner. And what had to be replaced was this guard, this bumper bar got damaged and the bonnet got pushed back up and in there and then this thing. So you can see how that bolt's been played with there. That bolt was undone and this section here was replaced because that was bent. So the rest of everything else, it was like those four things. The bumper bar, the guard, that little bit of panel there, which doesn't even go anywhere. The headlight wasn't even smashed, and but their bonnet was. And so he's gone and repaired it all. The insurance did a job on it and said, no, nah, you can have it. And he bought it back off the insurance company, fixed it up and... Lucky me, I get it for sale. You can see that that's still damaged there. He thought he didn't need to replace that because it was such a small crack, so. And who, that's what it is. Have a look in the motor, it is in as new condition, a car with these amount of kilometers. Just consider it as new, but it has got some sort of thing going on there. Come and drive it, it drives straight, it runs true. Every single thing works on it like it should. There's no defects with the car, there's no issues. That's the story. So if I can be upfront with you and tell you these things, there'd be no surprise when you come on out. If you've watched this far, obviously those things don't bother you too much. Good, let me tell you now what we do to the cars when they come into the yard. So firstly, they come in, we do three levels of checks. We do a road test, a yard test, and a mechanical inspection. Now when the cars have got this low amount of kilometers in there, this year model, they're as new, there's not much to check. Everything works like it should, okay? So there's the first thing I want to tell you. The aircon's cold, the windows all work, there's no rattles, bangs, it drives straight everything's doing what it should then regardless there's a baseline that all our cars have to meet so my mechanic is in the workshop there behind us with that raised roof his job is to bring all the cars up to the required standard and if they don't meet that standard off they go to an auction so he does that there was bugger all to do to this car because it's such a low kilometer car so all that in terms of servicing all that's all done and you don't have to believe me now go and have a look at my facebook page what you're going to see there is that the vast vast majority of our buyers are more than delighted with their car because i genuinely put a lot of work into preparing them properly and no exception with this one so what comes with the car for the price you see it advertised for that's a good question oh before i go there i want to tell you how it works here as you can see we are on dirt you can see that we are a little bit off the main road our gates why does this thing keep doing that? Our gates are a bit, our gates are locked. The security department is that rock wheeler hanging around. So I don't have salesmen ready to pounce on you. We don't do stuff like that. I don't have concrete, I don't have flags. We don't have any of that shit. This is me being the salesman. So what we do have is good quality cars. In this case, it's one that had had an accident. Just letting you know to make sure that you're aware of that. Um, and, but the car itself mechanically sound, everything's good with it there. Come and tech, check it for yourself. Get it through any inspection that you like and see what you think. So, um, 
So as a result, all our, all our prices, they're all fixed. I can't take out what we put into the cars. They're cheap anyway. And uh, so if you ask me, am I negotiable? I'll be like, yeah, I'm negotiable, but you really want to pay more? <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, but in all seriousness, I can't take out what we put into them. So our, our yard is by appointment. We are not a typical showroom. As you can see, we've got our cars lined up here. We've got a mechanical workshop. There's another 30 or something out the back. This is our holding, holding and preparation facility. So it's not the normal car yard wander in like that. So you have to let us know you're coming. You're more than welcome to come. We just need to know you're coming so I can lock the dogs up, open the gate, and you can come and have a look at the car. So now that we've got that out of the way, let me tell you what comes with the car for the price you see it advertised for. Firstly, is it comes with a Queensland Government Certified Roadworthy Certificate. You don't need, like a Queensland Government inspector has gone, yep, the car's good, so the car's good. And we need that to register it over to you. Which leads me to the next point. The car includes six months registration. So Queensland Rego. So that's included in the price you see it advertised as well. Then it's got um, guaranteed no money owing, guaranteed never stolen. It's got all that stuff. I can show you all that as part of our dealer's license. We're not allowed to sell cars like that. And um, But it does have a history of where an insurance company thought we want to cash it in rather than repair it. And so the repair was minor, but like I said, it was there. Um, guaranteed not stolen. Oh, there's something else, there's this other free thing that comes with it, and I forget. It's had a fresh service, so you won't have any scheduled maintenance to do until its next one's due, I think, in, uh, for, uh, in uh, at four. Have a look inside when you come. I'll tell you when the next maintenance is due. But this maintenance history is immaculate. It's about 40,000 Ks. What could you need to do to it? So, um, I think that's about it. If you need help with your finance, there's only, there is a link up the top of the page that says no deposit finance. There are a few lenders that will help with a car like this, but some lenders don't like the fact that it has been in an accident. And that's fine. If you have any questions, mate, give us a call and I'll let you know how that works. If you want to pay cash, well, I will reluctantly accept it. To count cash, I oh, fuck it up. I'd prefer just to get a bank check or an internet transfer. That's so much easier these days. And the price doesn't go down because of cash anyway. So uh, they're the payment options. If you just want to come down and pay cash, it's ready to go now. You can drive it away. We are a large dealer with Queensland Transport. What that means is we have number plates on site. If you come down, have a look, like it, I'll put some number plates on, we'll wave goodbye and off you'll go. I'm Dean Argent, thanks for watching this video. If you've got any questions, concerns, anything you wanna know more about, please feel free to give us a call or drop us a text. I hope I've covered everything to do with the accident damage. But if you have a look, you just won't even know. Drives like it's, I mean, if the car was a piece of shit, it would not be here for sale. The car has had some damage on the front, but like I said, doesn't affect the car in the slightest and if I didn't tell you about it you probably wouldn't know but we don't play those games here. I'm Dean Argent thanks for watching this video if you want it come and get it if not thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I look forward to meeting you soon see ya.